With only days left until the expected arrival of the Stargoids and update 14 changing the face of our galaxy forever Galnet is now reporting odd behaviour from the Thargoids, there's also hints of a buff to the exobiology payouts and this might be your last chance to see a Stargoid in flight. Here's a midweek update on some important things you may have missed in Elite Dangerous this week. If you enjoy our videos you know how this bit goes. Like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to see all our future content. You can also join our Patreon which directly supports the work we do here. Links to that and everything else are below. We are now less than 2 weeks away from the end of November. It's extremely likely that wherever the unidentified interstellar anomalies are heading they'll likely reach their destinations with the arrival of update 14 into the game and that update is currently scheduled to arrive before the end of November. As we reported last week the Stargoids as they've become known are now extremely close to the bubble. When they first began appearing back in August visiting them from the bubble required a not insignificant investment of time. At that point they'd appeared to have emerged from the shroud of locked off systems in the region of Barnard's Loop around 2000 light years from Sol. At that point the Stargoids could be heard in the FSS scanner from some significant distance away if you slewed your all detecting wonder scanner in the right direction and listened very carefully. If you wanted to see the mysterious spiralling blue green whirlpool of horror however you needed to be much more local and that meant a trip to their doorstep. As of this recording Stargoid 1 is now just 276 light years from Earth and visible from Earth orbit. After an FSS upgrade last week the Stargoids themselves are now scannable in the FSS. Indeed if you're in the system with them you can in fact now target them in your ship and give chase. They are however at this point at least still out accelerating human vessels and even if you start your chase ahead of them as they head into the system there is currently no way to drop into the Stargoid signal as it passes at very very high speed. Where previously the Stargoid anomalies had appeared to be in interstellar space ...the space between stars ...they do now very much appear to be in system with you. Far from being a slightly ethereal unobtainable otherworldly phenomena they are now becoming much more tangible and much more real. Albeit still tantalisingly just out of reach ...for the moment at least. In a Galnet piece published yesterday it was reported that large numbers of regular Thargoid signal sources have been detected in the vicinity of the Colsac Nebula. While Thargoid signal sources in the region are absolutely not unusual the report is at pains to report that the area has seen a significant upsurge in the number of non-human signal sources. Also the article points out that the upsurge in numbers has not been accompanied by the usual attacks resulting in burning stations. The report states that the Thargoids appear to be waiting for something. We saw an upsurge in caustic cauliflowers recently in the California Nebula but those attacks resulted in at the very least some attacked megaships. Similarly in recent times we've seen large quantities of Thargoids arrive in human occupied systems in the bubble, hang out for a few days and then leave reportedly of their own choosing rather than being driven out. In these cases again without attacking starports or megaships and the report from yesterday claims that the Thargoids are paying particular attention to systems in the Colsac region that house fields of Thargoid barnacles. There's clearly some very obvious and deliberate changes in behaviour going on here and it's not immediately obvious what our goopy, chitinous, often difficult neighbours are up to. If they are waiting in the coal sack, what are they waiting for? Are they expecting a Stargoid to arrive there? We do know the Stargoids are Thargoid in origin that was confirmed by Professor Palin last week. If they're hanging out at a Thargoid barnacle are they protecting them or perhaps refuelling from them? Thargoids can be seen extracting something from the barnacles on a fairly regular basis. Are they perhaps using the coal sack as a staging post preparing themselves for a simultaneous push into the bubble when the Stargoids arrive? 
The simple fact is right now we just don't know. We're very much in uncharted territory right now. A second Galnet news piece yesterday largely focused on a sense of general panic in the public consciousness that had been caused by Palin's announcement that the Stargoids were Thargoid in origin, chiding him for his lack of communication skills. One line in the piece however was particularly intriguing as it stated that Vista Genomics were planning to share their xenogenetic database with the team working alongside Palin. A subsequent result of which was that payments made to those who record and submit genetic samples would likely see an increase. This is potentially hugely significant. It essentially equates to a potential buff to the credit payouts that commanders receive for on foot genetic sampling in Odyssey. If that's the case it could mean that the goal of progressing through the exobiologist ranks in Odyssey just got somewhat more obtainable. If you're heading in with exobiology data at the moment it could be worth holding off paying it in and seeing if the community starts to report an uptick in payouts. As I stated at the start of this piece we think it extremely likely that the Stargoids will arrive inside the next 2 weeks with update 14. Whilst it's impossible currently for the player base to understand exactly what the Stargoids are or what their likely impact will be it's fair to say that their appearance is one of those uniquely elite in game events that we may not see again for some time. If you've not yet seen a Stargoid in transit then I'd urge you to take a visit to one now while you still can. It's entirely possible that what we're seeing at the moment could become a regular occurrence and it's just as likely that this is a one off thing or should that be an 8 off thing and we'll never see the like again after they arrive. Take the opportunity while it's here. Importantly Frontier are live streaming tomorrow. It's the last opportunity for a live stream before the end of November and they have said that they will be sharing a little insight into update 14. Are you planning on hanging on to your exobiology data? Are you now going to visit a Stargoid before they visit you? And just what do you think the Thargoids are up to in the Colsac Nebula? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.